Best-selling author and co-founder of Harvard's program on negotiation, William Urey, joins us to discuss his book, The Power of a Positive No, and how its techniques can be used in our everyday lives. Welcome, William. Well, thank you, Naomi. You are an expert in negotiation and the author of two best-selling books, Getting to Yes and Getting Past No, mainly used in business environments. Why did you choose to start this book with such a personal story? Saying no is something we do every single day, probably every single hour. And so it's, it's the critical life skill. And for me personally, I had to learn how to use it in dealing with uh, my daughter's situation. She was born, she needed a lot of surgeries. We spent a lot of time in hospitals. And we needed not only just to negotiate, we needed to, I needed to say no to medical students barging in the middle of the night, uh, to nurses and all kinds of inappropriate treatments in order to say yes to what was truly important, which was her health and well-being. So for me, this book comes as much from my heart as from my head. You claim that saying no is today's biggest challenge. What do you mean by that? The biggest problem, challenge that we face today is setting limits, is saying no to what's less important in order that we can say yes to what's truly important, to what we really want in life. So saying no is, is critical to our happiness, to the quality of our lives, and to our success at work as well. Yes is really a key element of your no. Will you describe the three-step method? The positive no method is very simple. It begins with a yes, uh, with you knowing what's your deeper yes. Why are you saying no? You know, when uh, my wife is saying no to my son about you know, don't, don't ride your bicycle without a helmet. What's she actually saying yes to? His safety, his well-being. So you begin with that yes because I'm concerned about your safety. And then you follow through with a very matter of fact, no edge, respectful no. You know, you can't ride the bicycle without the helmet. And then you immediately follow up with a yes. Here's your helmet. Have a good day. How does respect play into gaining acceptance to your no? So respect, which means respect, to see someone again, to see someone as a human being, which behaviorally means to listen to them, to pay attention to them, to acknowledge them, to let them know that you value the relationship. It turns out that it costs us almost nothing, and it means everything to the other side. Your book is peppered with wonderful stories about negotiation, but how can the techniques used by a hostage negotiator or Nelson Mandela really be applicable to the parents of an unruly toddler or teenager? Well, that's certainly been my experience. I've been working sort of 30 years in all of these domains, both professionally and internationally, with hostage negotiations. And then as a, as a home, as a parent. And I find that the same techniques apply because we're all human beings. So if we can say no positively rather than negatively, it's, it's easier too because you're not rejecting the other side. You're not saying no to them. You're saying yes to what's important to you, to what counts. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Naomi. It's been a pleasure. The Power of a Positive No offers both insights and techniques for saying a positive no. Its three-step method will help you better all interpersonal relationships and teach you to effectively stand up for yourself.